Thank you for checking out Beamworks' online tutorial site. We're going to be showing lots of videos over time here and uh, helping you guys out with some of the basics and, uh, you know, the simple things and get more advanced as we go along. Today we're going to show you how to set up a simple PA system and, and the basics that need to go with, uh, with doing that. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to start off by showing you the uh, basic necessities that you might need. The first one here is an XLR cable, which is the uh, general cable for connecting most things, either speaker or microphones and other objects that uh, could be instruments, things like that. Second one here is a standard microphone. Uh, basically, very simple, usual standard microphone that would uh, be used in most circumstances. Next one here is an iPod, iPad, uh, or a laptop cable, anything that has an eighth inch connector or headphone adapter, and just your standard power cables here. Right here we're going to look at uh, the basic speaker stand. Uh, it's got three legs on the bottom that will expand out to hold up the speaker in the air. Generally you want to have your speaker above everybody's head so that the uh, sound can travel clearly over without any obstructions. You're going to untwist that knob and just lower these legs down. doesn't need to be too low or too high, just enough at a safe point where the uh, speaker will not tip over easily. Just lightly twist down that knob so it can't adjust or slide around while it's up there, and it'll be nice and safe. There's another tension knob up here on the top. You'll loosen that and extend the, uh, the height of the pole to the desired level. Again, you'll usually want it to be just above people's head. There's a safety pin on most uh, speaker stands that in case the tension knob loses grip or has too much weight on it, it will not allow it to, to fall all the way down. So you can slide that in there, lower it, and again, lightly tighten the tension knob to keep the speaker up at proper height. Now we're going to show you basically uh, that every bottom of a, a standard speaker will have a two inch hole on the bottom or an inch and a half hole, which will go over any universal speaker stand. So it'll slide over just like this. And the back of most speakers will have a tiny uh, a screw there where the uh, speaker can be tightened so it cannot continue to rotate. Basically, you're going to take a regular uh, D-plug or IEC cable, which will come with any speaker, plug it in there, and give yourself some power. Naturally, all these speakers will need to be plugged into the wall or a power source to make sure that they will turn on. So make sure you're all powered up. Uh, you can turn the power on now or after everything's plugged in. It doesn't matter when you do that. Then you're going to take that first XLR cable, and you're going to take the male end that has those three prongs inside, and you're going to place it in the input jack at the bottom of this speaker, which is right there. Sometimes it looks a little funny, but if you rotate it around, it will go in just fine. The two buttons here are ground lift and mic level. Keep those out for now, and you should be just fine. The bottom gain should be at zero, and all your knobs should be at zero to start with your highs, mids, and low control. You probably won't need to adjust these for any reason uh, unless you're getting into more advanced. The volume, you can start halfway up, and if you need more, you can always take that all the way to max and let the mixer control uh, the rest of the volume. Here on a basic mixer, you're going to have two outputs on the back. If you're using one speaker, you can just plug in one. If you have two speakers, naturally, you can plug in more than that. It'll go in just there with the female side in the back. Again, regular IEC or D plug that'll power you up. There's two switches on the back. You'll want to turn the power switch on. And the second switch is for phantom power. And you can leave that off. That's for a uh, further tutorial for more advanced microphones. Again, always plug your source into the wall or power source to make sure that you can get powered up and uh, make sure your signal's actually uh, moving along. If you're using an iPod or iPad or a laptop, this is where you're going to plug in your uh, connector. It's that spot or any of the four to the, to the right side are just fine. If you follow down here, you've got your basic controls for your highs, your mids, and your lows. The pan there will adjust your pan from left to right speaker. And then the fader at the bottom will control that uh, signal's uh, volume overall. If you're going to use a microphone or an instrument that requires XLR, you can use this spot right here or any of the first six inputs. It plugs in just like so. And the uh, knob at the very top is your uh, gain volume. So you can usually keep that about halfway and you're fine. Don't worry about the auxes in this tutorial. The uh, blue knobs there are your EQ, which is your high, mids, and lows. And again, the pan knob there at the bottom. You'll take the other end of the XLR cable, the female side, and it'll plug in just in the bottom of a microphone or any standard um, instrument, uh, microphone, or product. And then the controls for your uh, mixer on the far right bottom, these two faders are going to be for your left and your right speaker. Uh, and you will bring those up to about unity, which is the U there, or zero if it's a different mixer. 
and then you'll uh, leave them there pretty much the whole time. Uh, that end is the eighth inch or headphone jack, which will plug into your laptop, uh, iPhone, iPad, any of your sources that have a headphone jack. And naturally all the way down to the bottom is the volume control for whatever input you have into that source. Again, we'd like to thank you guys for checking out the Beamworks YouTube page and how to set up a basic PA system. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 813-855-0709 or check us out on the web at www.beamworksinc.com or on Facebook at facebook.com slash beamworks.